Hey, look, we got two drones now. Whoa. What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, die! Ah. <laughs> Head into the warehouse where we made the film. So we're heading there and going to try our new DJI Phantom 4 drone. We had to buy it because ours screwed up. Tell me when! Alright, go ahead. Watch your story. So there's a scene in our film to where uh, one of the characters is flying a drone over this facility. Uh, we were planning on shooting it during the reshoots, but the weather was just too bad and the sun wasn't doing what we needed it to do. Um, so we came back out here to try to shoot it now. The good thing about this is it has obstacle avoidance. <laughs> so when I'm talking to you and I'm almost hitting trees, it stops me. <laughs> Walking in to review the footage now, uh, just a little context about where we are. When we filmed here for our film, we had this whole open space, like this area over here is where we had a couple of pinball machines and like playstations and stuff. This is where the whole crew ate lunch and dinner and breakfast every day. And all this was just open. Yeah, I mean, I don't really see any jitter or anything. So what I'm thinking is starting to where it's just trees filling it yeah. and then going forward and tilting and up. And tilting up, yeah. yeah, that's probably perfect. Right now we just dropped in the uh, drone footage into the rough cut of the film. So Ray's kind of in there just directing like what pieces to use and what segments and, and dropping it into where it actually needs to be in the film. And then after that, we were pretty much done with the rough cut of the film. Um, there's probably gonna be some minor tweaks here and there, but pretty much picture locked after that, ready to send it to a colorist and a sound designer. It's moving along pretty quick. It's kind of insane that how fast this post-production schedule has been. It's refreshing in the chaos of the corporate world and the corporate work and how much we've been traveling to know that something's like a hair away from being 100% complete is, is pretty, pretty relaxing in an odd way. How did we meet Dustin? That's a huge question. Uh, Dustin's a guy who owns a pretty big supplement company. And back in the day, like 2008, nine, somewhere in that area, uh, we were shooting commercials for him for his supplements, which led to him paying us a few hundred bucks to do a couple more videos uh, for his products. And we did that like over the course of a few years and then just communication fell off man like i uh i hit him up every few months and was like hey i hope all's good hope the family's well uh, then out of nowhere he just hits us up and, and was like hey you guys interested in doing films and we we're like hell yeah that's what that's what we want flew out to harrison i had a few meetings and i guess the rest is kind of history now we're two feature films in uh, he's been the executive producer of both films i guess when you look at it the grand scheme of things is is like Back then, we were kind of like doing what you're supposed to do to like get where you want to go in life without even knowing that that was the way to do it. We were just just doing shit. Like little did I know that it would shift and go to like a film side. So keep that in mind is, is what I'm saying. Is like, it doesn't matter. Like if right now you're doing a cheap commercial or something, or you're doing something that you're not sure if it's gonna match your end goal. It, people, people get too in their head about what specifically is gonna lead to this and this may not pay off and then like if I, well if I do this on, on surface level, on face value, it doesn't seem like it's worth it. But at the end of the day, you don't know. Well guess what? If you can take on a $300 commercial, that means you have the time to put into it. Because you're not getting fucking $10,000 projects and $20,000 projects. So take it and put the time into it. So just fucking do good work. Like work, do work that's, I mean, it's, that's the end. At the end of the day, that's that's what is going to get you to your end goal. 